I'm cooking for the 20% project here and I'm making one of my favorite things that my mom has always made for me so I figured I'd try doing that you know for fun <clears throat> I'm making a um, pretty much corn pudding which it's it's kind of like a mix of like um, well I guess corn and then it's like it's like a cornbread but a little bit thinner I guess and less dry um, so I had to make with this um, the ingredients were like one can of cream corn which is what it was what I have right here um, one can of uh, plain corn which I had that um, oh, it's in here in the refrigerator. And um, I had pre-prepared it for this video because I wanted to make sure it was ready. Um, two beaten eggs, which I had already put in the mix. Um, I had put um, three-fourths of uh, melted butter in there also so that it would uh, be ready for um, cooking. Uh, one cup of sour cream, which is what I was about to put in. Um, and then one box of uh, Jiffy corn muffin mix, which will help it give the will help it give the um, look of like a corn cornbread. So I'm gonna open this real quick, and then I'll eventually mix it in there so that I'll have the corn part of it. And the corn uh, cream corn. Helps it give a little bit of a softer taste to it. So I'll take this. All right, you know what? I'll just leave that on there. Um, so I'll dump this in. Put that right there. Yeah, you want a lot of corn so it'll kind of give give that taste. So you put that in there, and then. You'll want to uh, dump the one cup of sour cream in next. So I'll get a measuring cup, which here it has all the measuring on it. Okay, never mind. I'll use this. I'll use a dry measuring cup instead of wet. So I'll put this in there. Hold on one second. Okay. Um, so yeah, you want to put roughly one cup. You want to try and fill up the whole thing so that that way you'll be able to fulfill how much it says to put in there. That's good. So then dump that in here. Okay, grab this. Dump all that in there. Set this here. Um, and then to give it, I want to put this in there. Um, I'll open this up and I'll put the Jiffy Mix in with it so that, like I said before, so that it would give it the, uh, I'm going to open it, so that it would give it the mix and make it be where I can actually put it in for mix. And I'll use salt and pepper in a minute. Pull that in there. It's okay if some of the the corn mix is the way that it is. It's fine. So I'll mix this up so that it'll moisten down the stuff. You know what? Huh? I know. I'll mix that in. Um, I want to make sure that I also set this in there. Set that right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's what I thought this in here. So 
so we'll moisten it down a little bit. I don't want this. Thank you. My mom is the one that's recording. She's my assistant. She is the one that, you know, makes sure that I can actually perfect it because I'm not going to be perfect. Even after 13 weeks, I'm not going to be perfect at cooking, which she pretty much is. So, so yeah. When it gets to like a firm, oh, okay. When it gets to like a firm feel and gets harder to mix, that's when you know you want to pour it in. So you want to mix it in, get it real mixed up. That way that nothing stands in the bottom. It's pretty interesting. All right, yeah. Put a little bit of salt in there. How many? Like two, three dabs. Okay. There you go. Add in there. Two, three. Yeah. One, two, three. There you go. Okay, then I'll mix this up real quick. Salt and pepper so that if it can kind of give it a little bit more of a taste to it. You know, most of you probably knew that, but so that it'll give it a little bit of a taste. And then now that I've added all of the ingredients in, I want to go ahead and I want to go ahead and dump it in so that, that way that I can start cooking it. Um, you know what? I need this. Okay. I'm gonna make sure that you spread it out so that when you cook it, it'll be very. It'll won't go to one side, and make sure you get everything out. it out okay it should it should just about be it and then I'm gonna spread it around so that it fills up the whole thing smooth it out so that, that way it doesn't it evens out when it cooks because since it's got the stuff in it, it may rise just a tad bit. Okay. And that is the preparing, and I've set it to 350 so that whenever the oven is ready, um, it will it will start, and it's, yeah, it's ready. So I wanna set it to 20 minutes, 25 minutes to be exact. And then I want to put it in. And by the time that it's in, then I'll show you what the end result is. I can go ahead and put it in, right? Okay. Bro, that's hot. Don't burn yourself. All right. Could you get Top it? or bottom? Bottom, gotcha. Yeah, I told you, I'm not exactly perfect with this. All right. And then I'll see you whenever it's done. Oh. And guys, it's Dane. Yeah, my mom fell asleep. So, she's not exactly my uh, assistant anymore. This is what it turned out like when you cook it. And that's what it's supposed to look like, almost like a golden brown type color. So, that's what, that's what it should look like. So yeah, that is how you make a corn pudding casserole thing.